we just imported a new dataset in Nyman Analytics platform, which describes the weather in Austin between 2013 and 2017. Before running an analysis on the global warming effects on the city's weather, we should explore the data we are dealing with. The Data Explorer JavaScript node lets you investigate the statistical properties of the input data table column by column. Like all JavaScript-based nodes, the Data Explorer node displays the results in an interactive view, accessible via its context menu or via an IME web portal. To open the interactive view, we right-click the node and select Execute and Open View. As an alternative, we could execute the node first and subsequently select Interactive View Data Explorer view from its context menu. Here, we select the Combine option, Execute and Open View. After the node executes, a window opens containing the interactive view of the node. A view differs from a static representation of the output data because of its interactivity. Let's have a look at the view produced by this node. In the Data Explorer view, you can see three different tabs at the top. The current one is the Numeric tab, which shows information about the statistical properties of numerical columns. The Nominal tab shows statistical properties of nominal columns. And the Data Preview tab simply shows a sample of the input dataset. In the Numeric tab, we have a number of statistical measures, like mean and variance, for each numerical column. Clicking a column name expands the statistics further, adding, for example, the number of missing values and the column histogram. Also in the Nominal tab, you can obtain more insights. For each nominal input column, we display the number of missing values, the number of nominal values and the possible string values the column can assume. The occurrence count of the nominal values in the column is displayed in a bar chart. For example, the column events describes exceptional weather condition on some days and has many missing values. In the nominal tab, we see that events column has 903 missing values. In the bar chart, we see that the missing values bar, represented by a question mark, is the highest suggesting that the column events misses most of its values. Therefore, we might decide to exclude this column from the next steps of the data analytics process. To exclude a column, select this checkbox, then click Apply, and then Close. Indeed, if we now check the output data table of the Data Explorer node, the table will exclude the events column. We open the configuration window by double-clicking the node. The configuration settings of the Data Explorer node are divided in two tabs, Options and Table. The Options tab includes layout settings for the final view of the statistics for numerical and nominal columns. The view for nominal columns includes a cell with a list of all nominal values included in the column. This set can be quite large. In order to avoid an overpopulated cell that is hard to read, we can limit the number of nominal values displayed in this cell. One optional statistical measure to show for numerical columns is the median value. Calculating the median is computationally quite expensive, especially for large datasets. Here, we have the option of including or excluding such a value from the final set of statistical measures. The default setting is that the median is not calculated. This setting displays the row identifiers in the data preview. This whole group of settings defines what the histogram will look like, how many bars, how they are defined, and whether missing values should be included or not. Here, you can see that the title and subtitle of the chart can be set. And here is the format for numerical and nominal values. In the Table tab, you can set up a variety of interactivity features for the final view. For example, 
specify whether you want to add a full screen button or not, define the number of data rows to displayed in data preview table, set the impagination settings for the tables, enable selection, filtering and sorting interactivity options. Let's type the title we want to be displayed over our visualization. Explore Austin weather. Let's also enable the checkbox show missing values in Instagram. This way we are able to better investigate the missing data problem. We leave all the other settings as default, such as showing the top five most frequent infrequent nominal values, which means we will show at most 10 nominal values, the five most frequent and the five most infrequent. In the other tab, we leave the number of displayed rows in the data preview part to 100 and also all the other settings as default. Now we have configured the node, however, whatever we select in this configuration could be overwritten by the node interactive view after execution. In this video, we have tried to give you an idea of how powerful the Data Explorer node can be and that you can learn a lot about your data by simply exploring the statistical properties of the different input columns.